Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry and with s &DL coming down over 12% in just the last week alone, what caused us to see this crash and what can we expect to see next? And in this video, we'll be answering those questions and also at the end of this video, I'll be giving you guys my price predictions for tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And now, let's get right into this video. So SNDL opened up today trading at 63 cents and then right after we opened, we quickly spiked up to a high of 65 cents and then just as quickly, we begin to drop right back down in just 10 minutes after the markets opened, we hit the low for the day of 62 cents. Then after that, we came up 1 cent to the 63 cent level and stayed there for pretty much all day long. And at 4 p.m. when the markets closed, we were still trading at 63 cents and now at the time I make this video, we are trading at 62 cents in the after hours. So of course, today was not the best day for SNDL as we were in the red once again as we came down 2.23% today. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we are now down over 12% for the last week of trading, which is not great to see considering we were just at 80 cents just two weeks ago. And this week has been a rough one for SNDL in the entire cannabis sector. And that's because of the latest news regarding cannabis legalization. So I'm sure most of you guys have heard the news by now that the House has passed a bill that would decriminalize the use of marijuana in the United States. And at first, this was huge news and it did make SNDL and the rest of the cannabis sector run up. But unfortunately, a lot of people had a misunderstanding of this situation because on social media, everyone was saying that cannabis is officially legal and all cannabis stocks would go to the moon. But the reality is that it's not legalized just yet. So yes, it is true that the House of Representatives did pass a bill called the Moore Act. And yes, the act does remove marijuana from the list of illegal substances. And yes, it can lock a whole new door for the cannabis industry. But the thing is, the bill must be approved by the Senate in order for cannabis to actually be legalized. And currently, the predictions and opinions on what the Senate will do is not looking the best for us investors. And now let's talk about the latest information regarding the Senate. In order for the Moore Act to pass, it would require at least 60 votes for it in the Senate. And unfortunately, as of right now, experts believe that the bill is too progressive to gain support from Senate Republicans and even some moderate Democrats. And also, the Senate has yet to schedule a hearing for the bill and it is unclear when the body would bring the measure up for a vote. And also something I wanted to mention is that from my point of view, it seems like the majority of the Senate is okay with legalizing cannabis, but they just aren't okay with some of the aspects and little details of the bill that is trying to be passed. And of course, I could be completely wrong because I am no political expert, but in my opinion, I don't think the idea of cannabis being legalized is the main issue, and I don't think that's what's holding the bill back from being passed. But anyways, to summarize everything I just said and how it relates to the stock price, Pretty much everyone I saw on social media believed that cannabis was legalized as soon as the house passed the bill. And that made the stock price run up because people got excited. But then everyone found out that the reality is that it's not legalized yet. And we have to wait a little bit longer for the Senate to vote. And then investors found out that it's not looking like the Senate is ready to pass the bill just yet. And that negative information has led us to where we are right now. And of course, that's not the only reason why SNDL is down. And now let's talk about those other reasons. So one reason is that the entire stock market is also seeing a dip. Pretty much every stock in every sector has come down over the last week of trading. And the overall downward momentum from the stock market led us to come crashing down even more. And another negative factor is that Sundial Growers has delayed the earnings call once again. And now it's expected to take place on May 10th. So originally the earnings call was supposed to take place on March 17th, then it was March 29th, and then we got delayed again to April 14th. And now it's looked like we're going to have to wait another month as it's been delayed again to May 10th. And I really hope we don't see it get delayed again, and I personally don't think we will see it be delayed again, but of course you never know. And as an investor, these delays are pretty annoying because Sundown is already bad at communicating with their shareholders, and now having multiple delays on top of that is really inconvenient. But thankfully, Sundial did communicate with us this time and we do know why it's been delayed. And feel free to pause this and read the full thing on your own, but to summarize it, Sundial Growers has grown so much in 2021 that they are required to have an external auditor because of something called the SOX compliance. And with all the extra paperwork involved with reaching this level, Sundial underestimated how long it would take them to complete all the additional paperwork and that has led us to the delays we are seeing now. 
So those negatives led us to come crashing down to where we are right now, but we still have a lot of very positive things to look forward to as Sundial Grower's fourth quarter of 2021 earnings call is expected to be a great one and we have a high chance of getting some really promising information about the future of the company. And also just last week, we saw the acquisition of Volcana officially close and that will add tremendous value to Sundial Growers as it's going to add over $700 million in revenue every single year. So personally and in my opinion, I am completely fine with SNDL dipping down a little bit more because this just allows me to pick up even more shares at a cheaper price. And with my average cost sitting at around $0.68 cents across all my portfolios, with SNDL currently trading at $0.63, cents, this allows me to lower my average cost even more. So my best advice right now is to stay calm and take advantage of these cheap prices because even though Sundial's earnings call has been delayed well, multiple times now, it will still most likely make SNDL's stock price run up massively once we get closer and closer to that date. And obviously when we get the actual earnings results, that will make the stock price absolutely explode. And to finish off this video, now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's get right into these price predictions. So after everything we talked about in this video, where can we see SNDL go tomorrow, Thursday, April 7th? So lately, SNDL has not been seeing the movement we all want to see, but it's looking like better days are ahead of us as we begin to see the entire cannabis sector come back from the negative news regarding the Senate and cannabis legalization. But for tomorrow, I don't think we'll see SNDL make a recovery just yet, but I do believe we'll finally get back into the green. And in my honest opinion, I believe tomorrow will look a little bit similar to today. But instead of spiking up and then crashing down to start off the day, I think we'll start off tomorrow with a slight dip and then see a spike in price. And then just like today, I think we'll remain very stable throughout most of the day and not see too much movement. And I expect us to hit a low of 62 cents in the morning and then a high of 66 cents and then stay right around 64 cents for most of the day. And that is going to be all of this video, guys. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about where SNDL could go tomorrow. So feel free to comment your price predictions down below. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys all had a great day today. And also the Masters start tomorrow. So for all you golf fans out there, I hope you enjoy that. And thank you all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. And peace out.